Alright guys, this is Pixel Dan reporting from Toy Fair 2013. I'm in the Mattel showroom and I'm looking at Barbie's new dream house. Yep. Barbie, uh, well done, Barbie, Scott. Barbie is moving, and uh, so we're actually going to be, the castle, the green deco here is not fine. It's actually going to be pink okay. um, with glitter. Um, how you doing, so Scott? Barbie, yeah, how you doing? How, how are we doing, Scott? We're just fine. We're a little, yeah. we're a little cocky. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right. So we got a lot of new things to look at here. It's with the snake. Um, castle Grayskull. It, Holy cow. Oh, my God. It turns, it, it also makes Jillian fries. Um, nice and, Aladdin joke. Thank well you. done. I'm gonna jump on this side of you so yeah. you can show off. Oh, the there we go. Shall we dance? Right. Okay. Um, where, where do we even start? Well, we went through a lot of stuff before, and I know you're low on battery, so let's try to like. That's uh, right. All right. Well, we'll try show to show the quick. important stuff. Right. Obviously, it does not come with the figures. There's no hidden meaning behind the fact that she was holding Swiftwind's mask. We just couldn't fit Swiftwind on here, and I wanted to make sure Swiftwind got representation. Um, people are be like, "Is Swiftwind dead in the bios?" <laughs> um, someone asked me that. Um, let's see. All right. So we'll just kind of. I'm gonna start to disassemble now. So the jaw bridge obviously will open and close. There it is, closed. Um, this, there's gonna be a little like hole right here for the power sword to insert into, just like in the original mini comic. Right. Um, we're just gonna kind of keep spinning at this point for time. Uh, the pawn will be removable, so you can pop that off. There's the ledge. Merman's on the ledge. This is the secret door, so that'll open up. I don't know if it opens left, right, or right, left, but it'll open. Okay. Because, um, you know, there's got to be secret ways in the Castle Grace. And I heard you say that Scareglow's keys, uh, there's actually going to be a keyhole for that? That is, let's go this way. That's Not really that cool, one. by the way. That's this door. See, I've okay. got Scareglow there. Oh, okay. So this door will have a little keyhole, and his key, I, I hope, that's what they've told me, Design's going to try to fix that. And they're gonna, I think they're going to try to do a slot in the throne for the sorceress's bird feathers. Good, go okay. I was wondering how we were going to um, get her to sit. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't guarantee that, but I'm gonna, I'll bring that back. Um, all right, so let's go to the inside. I love that we have this little lazy Susan. Was there ever like a Susan who was lazy? I wonder where that came from. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just gonna start to like kind of take down some figures so we could see Sick, the castle yeah. better. Um, we don't we don't need this guy. Uh, um, all right. What? Let's you, see. You so threw mosquito. We've got the throne. Uh, so the throne. So we're gonna try to get that little slot there. Um, <laughs> he wants to take photographs. Oh. So. Uh, so the throat will spin there, and it, it's going to be more flush uh, because uh, these, you know, the, these hard edges here are just in the prototype. So you'll be able to get it all the way in the back there. Uh, let's see, then you've got the trap, jo trap door. will obviously work like a trap jo door and open. It's just kind of resting in there at the moment. You've got the flags that are, they'll be removable. Uh, you've got the space armor and the computer screen here. Uh, these are going to be, right now they're solid pieces, they're going to be kind of hollowed out mm -hmm. uh, just to make them more affordable, but they will be, you know, sized to that, okay. and they'll be removable, so you can put them, you know, if you want to put them down here, you want to pose them, you know, next to your figures, you can do that too. Okay. Um, let's see, so you've got, the, gun, the gun's kind of stuck down there right now, but the gun is, you know, it moves up and down and left, right, but not backwards through time. Uh, door will open here, and you've got... An orb chain. Whoa! First one, first drop. There we go. Let's count them. <laughs> Ding! Oh. One. <laughs> you gonna put it right up on screen? <laughs> I should. <laughs> so here's the orb holder. Will not come with the orb. You needed to have gotten this with King Grayskull, but you've got an orb holder. Here's the here's the orb holder that came with uh, Sorceress. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that or you want another option, you can display it like okay. that and fit it right in there. Very cool. You can't obviously fit a figure in there. Maybe Orko will fit. I don't know. Uh, the pawn, I said, was removable. The, there's the ladder. Ladder's removable. Excellent. Um, the, the, uh, this is the Wind Raider stand that came with the Wind Raider. So I just pop that right off and it'll pop in there. And that's the only place it goes, right? There's no, it does not attach. There's no the point top. dread okay. at this point. Yeah. Okay. But if the, you know, we they sculpted it so if we ever did a point dread, it would fit. Okay. But no plans for a point dread yet yeah. right now. That's cool that you're thinking ahead, though. Oh, that's we always that's... think ahead. Um, all right, just put that right there. Probably going to fall. Uh, let me just move that. And then the prison, the door will open here. This one doesn't. And then there's chains. So you got the chains here that are just stuck on with t sticky at the moment. I put Trapjaw back there in the, in the prison. Nice. Because he just seems like a, oh, does that count? 
Yeah. Ding! <laughs> Claw falls down. Uh, let's see, we got some new weapons for the weapons rack. We got this cool mace and, and pistol that, were, that are modeled after the sticker sheet. Okay. So you can add that to your weapons rack. The weapons rack does not come with the castle. So this is a, you had to buy this separately. It was right. on sale last two years ago. Uh, you've got the training device so that'll spin. Oh, so cool. So you could do that. You've got the bat jet pack there. Uh, the elevator. So it was on two different poles instead of one. It doesn't look like the Shadow Beast can go yeah, down. I don't there. think. I think Daniel Benedict will be upset. Shadow the Shadow Beast, Beast cannot go down the elevator. Who did the voice? Did you that was me. I was the yeah. one. Yeah. But what, what was the quote? Like, I'm, I'm going to go down the elevator. Oh, but can't. he can't. He can't. He can't. Someone Dang. <laughs> um, oh, it's over there. Uh, the elevator will go up and down. It's obviously stuck in place okay. at the moment. Okay. Um, let me move Roboto. So you've also got computer screen number one. And computer screen number two, things that count. Oh, come yeah. on! It's like, <laughs> I don't, I mean, give me a break here. The castle's like, so you got the, you got Eternia and you got some other planets there and, and that. I'm just gonna leave this stuff off at this point. Um, you got the sword, you got, uh, so these are gonna be places where you can mount different things. So we just kind of put. Oh, yeah, shields down there. Yeah, and stuff. shields. Okay. Um, Castle Grayskull Man, obviously not included, but there's also another place you can mount and a shield. I, you got the power swords up there, yeah, which is so really cool. Yeah, this one, you're not, it's not gonna come with the power sword or the sword of protection, but it'll come with this little mount so that you could put them. And you could put the silver or the gold one. Okay. Very or cool. anything you could put, I don't know, anything that'll clip there, right. really. You know, you could put Mosquito's gun. And why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you? Um. <laughs> I think that's it for the inside. Um, well, I have to say it's looking pretty incredible. I mean, it's it's huge, it's massive, it's got so much great details, a lot of pieces on the inside. And the good news is, you said this is going back on sale, right? Yeah, it's going back on sale tomorrow. Uh, it will be two seventy-five, okay. and you will not be able to vote in the box art character choice, and you will not be able to get the poster, the cross-sell okay, poster. Okay, which is what it was offered for the original pre-orders. Right, right, but right. you can get still get the castle. It will be twenty-five dollars more, and. If we have day of stock in November, December when it ships, it'll be 300. But okay. we don't know if that's going to happen because honestly, it's a bit of a risk to overproduce $275, $250 toy. So pretty much it's a pre order only. Um, there might be day of, but we can't guarantee it. So we'll have the final, final castle at San Diego. Okay. Um, you know, at this point, we're presuming everything we've shown here is going to be included, but I can't guarantee it 100%. If you're not happy with what you see here, you feel it's too small, it doesn't have enough accessories, you know what? You can cancel your order before it ships, before we charge you. You can probably do that, I think, all the way through September, okay. um, even after we show it in San Diego. Uh, so uh, one piece I know was shown in some media outlets was the dungeon sticker. Okay. I know that's not included. It's not um, included That with was the actually specifically, we told the whole, because we, we knew due to so much deco on that, that there was just no way to include that. But it doesn't mean we couldn't do it with like a weapons pack down the road. Okay. But I definitely know that's not but, uh, coming. Yeah, it's not coming with the castle. Yeah, and the okay. no petition or online thing is going to change that because honestly, it's costed out okay. at this point. Um, so that's why, yeah, um, the horsemen. Oh, I mean, they they love this stuff. They tend to over sculpt right. a lot. Is there going to be like a, a sticker then for the dungeon yes, piece? Yes, yes, there will be a sticker. It's a sticker. There will be okay. a sticker. Yes. Okay. So whether or not we can do the 3D one, maybe down the road, would be something we'd look into. But it okay. won't be in the castle. Okay. There's always the chance that something you see here might not be included. Um, you know, we're still obviously you know, dealing with a lot of cost issues. We hope everything you see here will be. You okay. can't 100% guarantee. Okay. So, all right. All right. But by Comic Con, we should have a close to final. Final at Comic Con. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So, Go and take a look at the new figures then. All right. So let's see. I think, have you seen close to final karate here? Well, I think the last time we looked at these was Power Con. Okay. was the last time I saw them. Yeah. With so, you, I mean, so he's pretty self explanatory. He uses some trap jaw pieces, some new armor. Um, he's got, you know, the vintage weapons, okay. the, the, the gun and the knife. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's not much. Uh, the right, pretty, it's the same thing we saw, already, yeah. but he's, he's closer he, to production. Yep. And we have his bio. Okay. I don't think we've revealed the bio no. before. Fantastic. And I love how we're actually finally getting enough new adventures figures to start to fill <laughs> out the cross. Fill out the back. Uh, we got Snake Face. So I put out both versions here. So, uh, you know, the head just pops off and you pop on the other one. The snakes don't come out of that head. Um, these snakes just pop right out. Okay, and then you they're could, just little pegs. Yeah, and then you can pop in this version, so these pull out. Okay. So Got it just it. pulls out and then pops in. Got it. Um, I know people were asking, you know, about red or green, and we went, we had, we had two different paint masters made up. One was shown in the slideshow, 
in San Diego and one was shown in the case, and we went with red just because it, it was more eye-catching, right. really. Okay. Um, so, and it matches the uh, snakes. You know, one, like one thing you'll see, oops, it's on the other head. So on this head, you see the snake tails coming out the back. Right. And then and on then this head, because they're popped out. That's very cool. Yeah. So that was a cool detail the, the horseman did. Uh, Octavia. Uh, and then we got Snake Face's bio, too. Okay, so awesome. make sure to take a look at that. Um, Octavia, she is really cool. So she's got four different swords, it's the same sword, four times. She's got her, uh, her crossbow with the little kind of octopus tentacles. Neat, very cool. And let's kind of look at how she works here. Let me take off the swords. So the tentacles are on ball joints. I'm going to pop her head off just to show you. So they're all on ball joints. So you get a lot oh, of articulation okay. there. And they all pop off, so you could swap them. So any one of the, um, make sure the camera can see this, any one of the tentacles can pop into any one of the four spots. They're going to be packed off, uh, really because the packaging's not big right. enough. So there's no chance of limbs being swapped here. Oh, there we go. So uh, you can pop, you can you know, really pose her in any way. I mean, you get a lot of articulation. I know people were concerned, you know, what they wanted them to be bendy, mm -hmm. like King Hiss, but honestly, and a lot of people are saying this, that, you know, I mean, over time, Bendy does deteriorate. I mean, right. our Clayface figure we did from years back had Bendy, and he is starting. I mean, you know, there's figures that that's deteriorating, too. Really, plastic, is, that's why they're all sculpted individual. So you could, you know, have different ways of posing it. Right, okay. I really, you know, and I honestly... At least we do have the ball joints there. And you have so the ball kinda joints. So we kind of can roll them around, we can move them up yep. and down, yes. forwards. So yep. that's, that's nice. You get yeah. a lot, a lot of movement. I mean, she's got a great, what we call a silhouette, if you will. You know, where I mean, she just, you know, takes up a lot of space there. So, there's Octavia. All, All right. right. I know, I'm leaving like a trash of figures in my wake. All right, we got the Fighting Foe Man. Everyone always wanted to know who the Fighting Foe Man is? Well, now you can read all about him. And oh, look, weren't we clever putting them in the mini comics so we can have shield art? Like, that, <laughs> that was on purpose. Um, yeah, so Fighting Foe Man, they really fill out the package. Same package as Star Sisters, but I think you get a lot more when you feel that. That's like... Yeah, wow. Wow, why is there so much weight to it? I guess it's just because of all the stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. It looks great in the package, too. Yeah, it's... so they really fill out that package. Let me kind of grab... Oh, no, kind of glued them down there. Ding. No, that's not a ding. Oh, that's it's pulling not... that... Okay. Ding, that ding. Un Unding. Yeah, he keeps coming up, not down. <laughs> uh, so he's pretty cool. So his staff fits in the back there. Okay. So that his, his uh, Rotan inspired... Oh, that is really neat. Okay, yeah. so he got a little holster yep. in, the, in the cape. And then he's got his blaster. It came mm -hmm. like pretty much right off the Rotan. And then uh, a lot of people are asking how the chest emblems, so that just pops right out. There's a little hole. It's just in the cape. It's not in his chest. Oh, okay. And then you can pop in the Rotan symbol. Just, oops. I have to actually line it up. And it just pops right in. That's not in that flush, but it will go in there. There you go. Very All right, cool. So there you go. So it does the same thing, you know, with, uh, with uh, Shield Maiden Sheridan. Uh, same thing, you know, you just, just pops off pop the armor right there. off. Okay. And then uh, now she's got like a Power Girl thing going. The Power, yep, the Power Girl thing, nice. Okay. And then you can just <laughs> pop, pop that right in, and now she can have her, her Fighting Foeman signal before she becomes, you'll find out why they have Horde symbols if you read the bio. Cool. Um, and she actually, if you take the armor off, which I'm not going to do, and I honestly don't encourage people to do, because for some reason, the armor's really hard to get back on. on oh, her. is it? So I highly discourage people from taking her armor off, but she has like a red bra painted on. Okay. I took one off. I'm not going to take it off because it's just really hard for some reason to get her armor back on. But she's like wearing, they did there's a paint op across her, her chest. So okay. you will not get a naked uh, <laughs> shield maiden if you take the armor off. But seriously, don't take the sh armor off because it took me like an hour to get it back on. I don't know why design did that, but oh, there we go. All right, same thing. Pop it off, and then you can pop on the Talon Fighter. Very His cool. His armor will come right on right. and off. It's okay. only with her that it's difficult. Okay. Um, there you go. Excellent. That's Fantastic. the Fighting Bowman. Find out who they are. Read your bio today. <laughs> I'm sure it's already online. All right. So next up is King He. Uh, not King He Man. New Adventures He Man. Uh, so you get you do get both looks. So you, so here's the. Um, what I always call the dare armor. A lot of people don't know that the original uh, concept for New Adventures was dare, he hero, son of He-Man. And then that became New Adventures. All the villains that were developed for what became New Adventures were actually developed for dare. And, and really? Yeah, that's like where the whole, that, that shot I showed of Icarus at Comic-Con mm -hmm. in, um, in the style guy, that was so, 
Like there's an image in the style guide, basically it looks like this, and it labels him as Dare. Really? Um, wow, that's, that's why I've always called this the Dare armor. So, um, yeah, I don't know if fans have seen all of that, but yeah, that's anyway. I mean, that's just why I've been. People were asking why I was calling it the Dare armor. Okay. Um, so hey, now we've already got it tooled. If we ever do a Dare figure. Um, so this one's actually close to he's that's still a prototype. So he's got the new wrist articulation there. Ooh, so he so can he actually can do hold that. Hold the sword yep. aloft. Hold it aloft. That so thing will. I hope we can see that in a regular He-Man at some point. You know, I'd love to. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's just tough because it's like, yeah. do you do t another He-Man or right. you do Chikoti? That's true. You that's know, true. it's like, so, admit, you know, maybe in a movie year. Um, <laughs> no, but we when, when we get more skews, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, he's got Bo's boots, or New Adventure He-Man's boots, uh, new crotch piece, new bandolier, the head just, you know, pops off, you can pop on the other I head. he's got the ponytail, yeah, too. Yeah, he's got the that's, ponytail. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, and it's like the same face sculpt, too, which is cool. Yeah. Um, just with new hair. It's like, you know, he's now gone Excellent. very late 80s. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the shield, you know, just clips onto his arm. Um, and here's the... Armor, so the armor is just your normal standard type you know, armor. Your standard okay. armor. This one, unlike Shield Maiden, Sherilyn will, you know, be easy to attach and detach. I have no idea why hers is so. I've never encountered out of all the figures in line, hers is the only one that just for some reason just does not reattach. I don't know why. Um, but not like she needs to take it off, so it's not like it's a miss. Okay, and then you got King He Man here. So there he is in package with, Ooh, with the Hero with, Son of He Man sticker. Yep. Another reason to maybe do Dare one day. He's got the sword, the bashed up power sword. He's got the mini comic, which is right here, glued down very tightly. <laughs> so, so no sneak peeks? No peaks. sneak peeks. Uh, no, won't even move. Uh, um, he, I mean, he is a, also glued down. Why are they gluing down these figures? Um, yeah, I mean, he's a re I think, honestly, this is one of my favorite figures in the whole line. Um, and I can see he's got all three balls on the top of his yep, crown. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's no got broken. all three. Yep. Yep. People were wondering about that. Yep. Um, it's funny. The, the horse, when they painted the paint master, one of the balls was missing. They didn't even notice. Oh, okay. Um, they're like, it's missing one? And I showed him the image. He's like, oh, my God, it is. <laughs> um, so there's King He-Man. Really, the bio is cool, too. I think the bio brings... It, it's another one of those turnkey bios, like Thunder Punch He-Man. It okay. really ties a lot of the continuity yeah. together. Strobo. There's Strobo here. So he's got the uh, Dark Star Matter orb. He's got the uh, the Zodak head is hidden down there. But he comes with... I just put a Zodak out. But he comes with this Zodak head. I've been trying to do that for years. So we could do the um, unmasked the, uh, 2000X the, style yeah, Zodak. Here was the original head that he came with. Right. And then you could just take that one and pop it on. And now you have another Zodak. Very cool. Very cool. And Strobo also glued down. He's got the nice mirror reflective thing on there now. Yep. Which oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was just that's, painted. Yep. yep. Was... This is pretty much final. Um, and we are going to make, so Strip will be at the tra our traveling convention figure, but we're going to make a very limited amount available for subscription holders. Okay. Uh, early in the year. Um, not not the full quota, but just a couple. So if you get an early access and get them, you'll get a Strobo before everyone else. Very cool. Strobo. All right. All right, let's see. So we got Ram Man. You've Ram seen Man. Ram Man. Oh, yes. Ram Man who Ram comes Man out in a couple days. In a very um, couple days, everybody will have this figure. And yes, he is not incredible. just you. It and me. Incredible toy. Really great fit. I mean, he's heavy. Really put someone's ding, off. Ding, ding. Oh, no. That would actually snap. Oh, oh, oh my broken. goodness. Actually, it was Look. Already, it was already broken. I had them oh, glue excuses. it. Oh, so. excuses. I know. Already broken. So this is Rattler's armor. That'll yeah, be what's that the, doing? That'll be in the weapons pack it's later. It's in a weapons pack. Okay, yep. that's great news. So you'll be, able to get, you'll be able to get the Rattler armor. Let's take a look at this one. These are the stackable stands. Let me take the figures off here. Before I get a ding for knocking Mechanic over. So you will get three in a pack. They're all the same. Oh, okay. Um, I see how they but work But there's now. a lot of ways, you know, to display them. You know, you could do that stuff like that. Cool. You could do stuff like that. You could do stuff like that. Um, you know, so it's basically a way to maximize your shelf space. And it's going to be in the same color as the castle. Do they have, like, the little pegs that snap into yes. them? Kind of like the other ones? Yep, and that's then what these holes are for. Okay, yep. got it. See got the holes? It. So, uh, and yes. that will match up great with the Castle Grey Yeah, That's so if you want to cool. build an extra wall or even, you know, display them like that. I mean, there's a lot of ways you could, you know, create stuff with it. Very cool. So there you go, stackable stands. So I'm going to jump back to the weapons pack thing real quick. You've got the Rattler armor there. Yes, that I just I think broke. it was New York Comic Con you had a, a white horde crossbow. 
That will not be in the weapons pack. Is there any news on that at all? Or not is that, that I can just, tell you. Oh my gosh, what are you doing to us, man? That was like, what was that, October? Come on, that's not fair. Well, life's not fair, and then <laughs> he who dies with the most toys wins. <laughs> okay. Well, that's true. That's a true statement. Oh no. Ding! That's like a double ding. I just knocked Did you just knocked over Granomir? Decapitated Granomir. This is toy chaos. Ladies and gentlemen. It fell into void. There it is. Scott Knightlick, toy murderer, yeah. is in the house. Right, let's get his head back on. What are we doing you here? Know, in, in all good faith, I actually didn't attach the head before. I just put it on and I meant to come <laughs> back and make sure it was attached. So, no, I still get a ding. Right, I'm going to put him all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> this is up. All right. All right. So. Uh, oh, uh, yes. yes, what do we got here? Uh, blister holders. So you're going to get four in a pack. They just come apart, and you can put a carded figure in there. You got the Masters of the Universe logo. You got Maddie Collector. It still has a hook, so you can hang them on your wall. Okay. So here's, I put Vicron in one. I don't know why Vicron. I just had an extra Vicron around. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it fits the, it, it's, it's die cut. I mean, you can see it's even got, you know, like the, the cut there. To go okay, along yeah, on the edge, and it's even got the 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 the, uh, the little dimple, the dimple thing, okay. yeah. So, uh, I mean, they're custom made. They're really, I mean, they only work with classics. So, for those of you who are mint and card collectors, uh, and we'll find out how many of you are there by answering the poll on He-Man.org that's going to run for the next week. Oh, I forgot to plug it in front of everyone. I, t I meant to do that. Um, You're plugging it in front of everybody right I'm now, it now on the internet. On the internet, <laughs> I've heard about these internets. So uh, here, here it is. How many of those come in there? I believe there should be four. Four in a box. So here you go. Okay. Yep, there you go. One, two. So like, yeah. Oh, there, maybe there's more than. There's one, more than four two. in there. two. Let's find out how many we got. I thought there were four. You know, it's probably because we've got the front and back. Oh, yeah, there's four. Okay, yep. it's four and then the backs. Yeah. Got it. So you got four fronts and four backs. Do you know how much those are going to cost? I think it's $15. 15 Either 15 or 12 I can't remember off the top of my 12 head. 12 to 15 for but a pack it's, of four. It's well under $20. Okay. Um, so you may want to combine it with another thing to save on shipping. because. Right. Paying for something that's twelve dollars and then having to pay the shipping is a bit much. Okay, so that's the two new display options got that it. we're doing. Excellent. So you got those. So we had some surprises. Not everything was purposely, accidentally, purposely leaked. Purposely, accidentally, purposely. All right. Uh, so let's look at this stuff. All right. What so we got clam. These guys are still prototypes. So I'm not I'm going to be a little bit more gentle because if, if I get a ding on these ones, I'll oh, actually you'll break be in trouble. Something. CB um, will not be happy. No. Well, he already turned them over to us. Let's see. So, Clam Champ, you've pretty much seen him already. Um, they don't think there's many changes from New York. Right. Because it's still the same prototype. Okay. Um, I mean, the clamp, these, these will move. Um, otherwise, it's the backpack's not removable. People were asking about that. And that's just part of the armor? Um, okay. Yeah, it's just part of the armor. But the armor will be removable. Okay. But it is new armor. Um, it's not Fisto's armor, which the vintage figure was. I'm uh, like, so afraid he's going to fall down. Okay. But let's get to the new, new stuff. Mantenna. Amazing figure. Let's see what's glued down. I'm not, I don't even want to touch him, but I'll show you how you the eyes. You don't have to touch yeah. him. We don't need any more dings on these guys. <laughs> Let me show you how the <laughs> eyes work, though. So you pull the eyes out. Which? Oh, did they glue them in? No. There we go. Come on. There we go. All right. So the eyes pull out. The tentacle eyes. And then you can take the I guess the marble eyes. <laughs> marble eyes. Uh, well, the round eyes and these. Got and these. it. Plug those in, if I can get them in. Without so do you not have to remove the mouth like you were saying earlier? On the final figure The final will. figure you will. Okay, yeah, so like okay. the little mouthpiece is going to come off, I think, just to make it easier to do this. Okay, got it. Because they were, I think they were just finding in production it wasn't working as well. So the little mouthpiece will come off, and then you'll plug the eyes in and put the mouth back on. Okay, got it's it. It's just a way to make it easier to change. It's right. not meant to be. Yep. All right, so let's see what else we got. So there's, and he comes with his crossbow. And he's, I mean, all, all legs are fully articulated. Um, they're, you know, fully on ball joints and just like every other, you know, and he's pretty much, except for his hands, and I think his crotch is what Eric said, he's fully tooled. Okay. A lot of they, Yeah, they, the hands are reused, he said. And, yeah. Okay. Very Other cool. than that, you're getting a lot. Excellent. And, uh, ooh, yeah, what is that? that? I don't, what I don't is know what that? that is. I don't know what that Hold is. Hold on, you can't just hide that uh, back Let's talk there. about Cast a Spella here. Ah. Uh, so, uh, uh, this, her back piece... It's just kind of like stuck on right now, but it's got a little clip. Okay. So it'll clip kind of around her waist. Right. If you want to display her with it on or off. And then this is her little magic burst that'll slide right onto her hand so she can like shoot a magic that bolt. That is really cool. I've been trying to do this for years. That is, yeah, that's neat. Um, had to sneak it in with her. And then her shield. So vintage shield in the, in the yellow there. 
So there's Cast a Spella. Excellent, fantastic. Really excited about her. Oh. All right, here, I'll switch over here. Okay. Since there's not a lot of room. Shagugu, what did Ram Man call it? Shapubi. All right, so, I mean, Shakoti is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. She's a basic figure with a cape. She comes with her little buddy. Um, that attacked that poor little boy in the episode. <laughs> that, that show, that episode gives people nightmares. Um, let's see. Series. So this is the new add-on sub, much like the 30th anniversary sub for 2012, but in, the difference is they'll ship in the second half of the year monthly instead of okay. full year every other month. Okay. It's an add-on sub. You'll save on shipping starting in the second month. You'll avoid sellouts. Um, all the figures will be Filmation original characters. So it's not like you're going to get Filmation Stratos or Filmation, you know, Tila or He-Man. They're going to be original heroes and villains from both P.O.P. and Masters. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, they're all pretty much, you know, they're, Excellent. they're the characters we all wanted. Uh, Batros, the wings are attached. He's got um, Spike Orr's mace and a new deco there. You got Icer, who will be in kind of a transparent plastic. There won't be any, uh, people are already asking, like, it's not, Again, to be clear, people are like, was it going to crack like Goddess? It wasn't the plastic that made Goddess break. It was the, wield the welding process that fused the joints together that's been changed. You'll notice that hasn't happened ever again since that figure. And the same thing happened on DC Universe Wave 4, which did not use pla clear plastic. So for the millionth time, it was not the clear plastic. So clear plastic. So Icer should be good. He should He's be solid, good. no yeah. breaks. Okay. It's just a color. It's not a different type of plastic. Um, it's. I think I'm going to be like saying that on my deathbed. What is? Oh no, those are eyeballs. Do those count as dings? Well, I don't know. Because the all antenna's eyeballs just fell that out. That was gravity. Okay. <laughs> not not Scott Knightbuck. Um, so he comes with his icicles thing, and then he's got a staff, and uh, yeah, of Avion. It's not the staff of Avion. No. Maybe one day we'll get to that. Oh, look at... No, no, no. It comes what? Well, it, the prototype <laughs> comes apart. It's supposed to do that. Okay. So that you could slide it Got in it. his hand. But it will, it'll be one... So all the stabs and the prototypes actually do that. Um, but it won't come apart in the final one. It's all got a right. little skull. Because everything in Mojo has to have skulls. <gasps> oh, no! That was bad. Oh, luckily, he didn't break. That was a big ding. That should be like four dings. It should be like one ding for each piece. That's all. Uh. I don't even, I can't defend you on this no. anymore. It's just... It's gravity. I what did you do to him? That was, I wasn't touching him while he fell. You broke my favorite figure. I know. <laughs> All right, we're just going to leave him right here and never touch him again. <laughs> if he falls when I'm not touching him, is it still my fault? Yep. Wow. So, like, if a figure falls in the other gallery, it's my fault? <laughs> by that, by that... Hurricane Scott, that's what I, we call him. I wasn't touching Hurricane him Scott. Um, you, all right. Hurricane Orco. That's what happens when you have prototypes. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's it, though, right? That's I mean, that's that's a. We did talk. Yeah. Well, I didn't touch him because I didn't want him to fall apart. So you know, I think I really only broke one figure, and maybe Rattler's armor. <laughs> maybe. Um. <laughs> so there we go. That's there everything, go. though. That's everything. So we got a filmation subscription. We have a Castle Grayskull. We've got Mantena, Cast a Spella. There's a lot of great things you guys have here. We have this. Oh no, what is that? What is that? I don't even look, know. You're not even like showing it. Like nobody can even see it. But... All <laughs> Amazing. Right. All right. Um, that's it. Yeah. We got Watchmen figures. We got DCU. Um, you know, support all our lines. Adam West, 1966. We got we got great stuff. Buy the castle. Yeah. That's awesome. It. Fantastic. Well, Scott. Once again, thank you for taking the time to uh, destroy all these action <laughs> figures for us on camera. We always appreciate the hey, walkthroughs and everything. Anything to make engineering like me better. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's always great seeing you. So there you go, guys. There is a report from the Mattel showroom here at Toy Fair 2013. Until next time, I'm Pixel Dan.